What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how you can make this cable here. So if it's the middle of the night and you need a network cable, you don't have to wait for the morning to buy one. You can just make it yourself. Stay tuned. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to build a network patch cable. When we're done, we'll have something that looks similar to this right here. Some of the materials that we're going to need are a piece of network cable cut to roughly the length we're looking for, and some cable ends. The tools we'll need for this job are wire cutters, a box cutter, and a crimping tool. These crimping tools aren't too expensive. I'll keep a link in the description for these. So to start out with, we need to cut the insulation back on the cable itself. To do that, I use a box cutter. The cutter inside the tool will work, but I find that it actually damages the copper sometimes, so I just use a box cutter. So you go about an inch and a half down, and you roll the blade across the cable and then slit it down the side. And that'll allow you to grab a hold of it here and peel it off. Then there's a little piece of fiber in here and you're going to want to get that out of your way because it's going to get in the way later. So you use your wire cutters and cut that little piece of fiber off there. Now we have to separate all the wires. To do that I usually separate these into the color groups. So you bend it over and then start untwisting each color group. This right here is the most tedious part of the entire job. When you're making a lot of network cables on site, your fingers can actually fall asleep while you're doing this. It's really annoying. One of these days, someone is going to create a tool that will allow you to do this and crimp them all at the same time, and they're going to become a billionaire overnight. I guarantee it. So once you get these separated, now, we need to put them in order. Now when you buy your cables, when your, your cable ends, you're going to come with a little card like this that actually has the color code in it. I'll actually post one of those up here. Green, white, green. Orange, white, blue. Blue, white, orange. And brown, white, brown. Once you have these cables in order, you kind of bend them around until they're real tight up against each other. And then I typically cut it back to about three quarters of an inch or so. Then you get your cable end, slide your cable end over the cables. You want to make sure you do this real careful because you don't want these to get mixed up. And then once it's in, you grab your crimping tool and with your crimping tool, you just crimp away. And there you go. Once you finish that side of the cable, you do the exact same process on the other side of the cable, which I will do right now. All right, now that we've finished our cable, we need to test it to see if it works. The final step in the process is to make sure the network cable you made actually works. To do that, you plug it into any router or network plug. I'm going to use the plug here on my bench. Plug it in and then plug it into the device that you want to use it on. Just like that. And you should be able to see an IP address really quick. And there you go. What I'll do is I'll ping Google real quick to make sure it works. And there we go, perfectly working network cable for a fraction of the price that you can buy in big box stores. The benefit of making your own network cable is not just that it's cheaper than buying a cable, but also you have the flexibility to be able to make it any length you want. I could have made this cable six inches or 30 feet, and it's the same amount of work. All it takes is more cable. And this cable you can buy at any Lowe's or Home Depot for about 30 or 40 cents a foot. So it's a whole lot cheaper than purchasing something at a big box store and you get the customizability to be able to make it any length that you want. 
I hope this video benefited you. If it did, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching.